Hi everybody, it's Mr. Ng. I'm so glad you could join me today. We're going to read a book called Ivy and the Lonely Rain Cloud. And um, after that, we're going to draw a picture together. All right, let's get started. Ivy and the Lonely Rain Cloud by Katie Harnett. There was once a rain cloud. This is the rain cloud. The rain cloud was sad because the horrible hot sun had scared all the other clouds away and he was the only one left. He had no one to talk to and no one to play with. He needed friend. So he looked, and he looked, and he looked, but no one wanted to be his friend. He had, he had almost given up when he spied a small figure down below him. The girl didn't look happy with the sunshine. She looked grumpy. Maybe she was lonely too. So the lonely rain cloud followed her to the market where she was grumpy. He followed her to the metro where everyone was grumpy. He followed her home, where she was very grumpy. Leave me alone! The rain cloud was starting to suspect that the girl did not want a friend at all. But if she wasn't lonely, why was she so cross? Arg! She was grumpy when she watered. She was grumpy when she arranged her flowers. Even when she seemed happy, eventually she was grumpy. The rain cloud felt sorry for her. Being grumpy is just another way of being sad, he thought. And then he had another little thought. He watered, and he watered, and he watered. The next morning, the girl couldn't believe her eyes. From then on, the happy rain cloud and the girl grew beautiful flowers together, come rain or shine. The end. All right then, we've got a piece of paper and a pencil. If you don't have one of those things, you can pause the video real quick and get those so that you can follow along with the drawing. All right. Today we're going to start out by drawing our rain cloud. Now the illustrator of the book, and illustrator means the person that made the pictures, um, she used paint to create her pictures. Now we don't have to paint our picture today, but we are going to draw something similar to what she has in her illustrations or her pictures. We're going to start very simple and draw a rain cloud. Now, there's all different shapes of rain clouds. Did you see that in the beginning? It looks like she used different 
shades of gray and blobs of paint to create her rain clouds. Today we're going to use pencil to draw the outline of the shape of the rain cloud. And if you remember, lines make shapes and shapes make pictures. And a rain cloud can be kind of a bumpy shape, a little bit round, but definitely bumpy. So why don't you start by just drawing a round shape and then every once in a while adding a bump or maybe a couple bumps into your shape. And then after you've drawn a few bumps, come right back to where you started. Make sure that your lines are rounded or curved. There we go. And um, perhaps to give it some personality, we'll add two little eyeballs or two little eyes, kind of like in the book. That's pretty simple. All right. And to draw our raindrops in the book, we see little lines, right? Little dashed lines coming downward from the cloud. So let's draw a few dashed lines, but make sure we leave some space at the bottom because we're gonna draw something down here, okay? All right, little lines using my pencil to draw just little lines. It's kind of like they're creating a pattern because they repeat. Okay. And they repeat. They're creating a pattern. Okay, maybe a little bit more. But we could maybe draw um, some flowers and I'll let you decide what kind of flowers you want to draw. If you remember, we practiced different types of flowers when we looked at the artwork of Alfredo Ramos Martinez. But you can see there's all different shapes and there's different shapes of leaves and different shapes of flowers and some are little and some are bigger. So um, I'd like you to just come up with, and I'll draw a couple here, but um, I'd like you to come up with some of your own ideas for flowers too. Let's draw these kind of um, tulip shape, you know, kind of a U-shape flower, right? U-shape, and then maybe kind of connect the top there, and we'll draw a couple more like that. There we go, and maybe draw our stems coming up like this, with little leaves on them. Nice. There we go. And uh, maybe the little um, maybe we'll we'll do these little ones here. It looks like little circles um, on the ends of lines, right? Little stems. So we'll do that next. Draw some circles. Because our lines are making shapes and our shapes are making pictures. Little circles connecting. Maybe we'll put some right here. There we go. And maybe some right here. we can take all our lines and kind of connect them all down and if it doesn't feel like there's enough then we can add more little circles and draw little lines and connect them so they all kind of reach the same place and we'll draw another little pot right here it could be just a, some straight lines to create a cup shape all right and maybe um we'll do one more let's do um the type of flower that we practiced when we were drawing with Alfredo Ramos Martinez, right? This is like a circle. And then we just add layers of petals around the outside of the circle, right? So we'll go kind of like these U-shaped lines going all the way around 
but then we add another layer around. And if I'm going too fast, remember, you can always pause the video or go back a little bit so that you can watch it again. Okay, and then I'll add another layer of petals on the outside going around. There we go. That's nice. Maybe one more layer just to make it extra, extra puffy, extra fluffy. There we go. Those are a few ideas. But if you would like to use your the rest of your space to draw a few more flowers, that would be lovely. I'm going to color mine now. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like the rain cloud in this story, and it sometimes I do feel a little less lonely when I help. Like the rain cloud helped um, Ivy water her flowers. This might not always make the sadness or grumpiness or loneliness go away, but finding a way to help somebody or asking someone for help is always a good place to start. Maybe you could even show somebody this picture that you just drew, or you could draw a picture for somebody else. Here's my lovely little rain cloud. I hope that you enjoyed drawing yours too. Until next time, stay safe, stay creative, and remember, you are an artist.